continue our series on looking at the scriptures through Middle Eastern eyes. On this occasion, I want to pick up on a word. This particular word at this time is called henemi. In the Hebrew vocabulary, they have less words. So each word has a greater meaning and a deeper meaning. You know, for example, like shalom. It doesn't mean absence of strife, peace, but it also means inquiring after well-being. So we'll have a look at this word, Hanami. You remember when God called out to Adam in the garden, saying, where are you? <laughs> he wasn't inquiring about Adam's location. He was asking Adam to face up to something and stop trying to hide. He reached out in love, longing for a response, ready to repair the broken relationship, reminding Adam, I'm here, literally meaning he named me, or behold me. Older translations use the word lo. For example, in Isaiah's response, it's rendered as lo, I am here. 1 Samuel 12, verse 3, let me read this to you. This is from the Living Bible. 1 Samuel 12, verse 3. Now I tell you, I stand before the Lord and before his anointed king. Whose oxen or donkey have I stole? Have I ever defrauded you? Have I ever pressed you? Have I ever taken a bride? Tell me and I will make it right, whatever I have done wrong. And the people replied, no. What he was doing here, he was calling upon the people to testify against him, if they could. He challenged them to find fault with him. So here, he named me means, I'm hiding nothing from you. So this is what it's saying. Here I stand, hiding nothing, condemn me if you can. See, remember in Genesis when Joseph's brother threw themselves at his feet with the words, Behold, he named me. We are your slaves. Similar in Joshua, the Gibeonites said to Joshua, Behold, he named me. We are now in your hands. They had practiced deception and had been found out. What could they do but throw themselves on Joshua's mercy? He named me means I have no rights, the rights are all yours, I am utterly dependent and at your mercy. In Ezra 9 verse 15, the priest's representative prayer of contrition included these words, Behold, he named me, here we are before you in our guilt, he named me can mean I know I'm in the wrong. No use trying to hide it. I'm ashamed before you. Please put it right again. It can also mean, what can I do? Somebody who owes allegiance, calls you, needs you. Things are going really bad. You express your readiness to help. Tell me what to do. I'll do it. He named me can mean loyalty when the going gets tough. Think of Moses. God came to him in person. So plainly, he knew where he was and called out to him. Moses said, he named me. Of course he wasn't saying, oh Lord, I'm over here. He was expressing availability. I'm here, Lord. What do you want of me? All right, he had a bit of an argument with God when he found out what's going to be expected of him, realising the enormity of the task and the scale of the cost. But the intention was right, the basic expression of readiness. The rest would eventually follow. With that initial ungrudgingly response of he named me, he would have never had stayed the course. He named me means total commitment. Nothing held back. I know I'm not up to this, he said. You know I really don't want to do it. 
And frankly, I'm terrified. But because you are my God, <clears throat> I am your servant. I will do it, come what may. Isaiah was given an inkling to the cost of Hinami when God said, go, preach, preach to this people. But I know they won't listen to you. How many of us rate success as seeing God's approval and blessing? For example, blessing equals success. But Hinami can mean I'm even prepared to be a failure in man's eyes if that's what you want, Lord. The cost can also mean our reputation, the esteem of our family, our peers and our social circle. Jesus said, he named me, when he came to do his Father's will. Here I am, quoting Psalm 40. <clears throat> This offering of himself was never easy. You can discern the struggle from the temptation right through to Gethsemane. Can any price, therefore, be too high for us? The constant love of God for a wayward people, the determined plan of God that will live amongst them in a covenant relationship, the parents' readiness, sorry, the patient readiness of God who waits on the outside saying, I'm still here. He is longing to respond to his people who will turn to him, welcome him to be the centre, wanting nothing better than to walk in his ways. A people who will say to him, he named me. Is that our prayer today? That we want nothing more than to be in the presence of God and to listen to him and obey his commands. Amen. <clears throat>